just go so fast. No, it, like, it like auto slows your ship down when they try to eat you, so that they can eat you. Uh, let's grab this. Yeah, I was thinking of doing a, a debate with a spaceship and just going after it then. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't get a more one-way trip than that. Get the laser upgrade. We gotta go farm some kyanite. Get in our, uh, what was the thing in, uh, what was that thing in, uh, Subnautica called? The, like, mech suit. You can, like, arm torpedoes on it and below zero and stuff. right. I guess if all the red ones are the same, might as well just go into the red room from the get-go, right? I think that one's a fish, right? Clear of that dude. If we can. Boy, Druid. My ship is going to hit those. Like what? No way. Do I have to do this out of ship? Like, unironically? Just go. turn around and look, but there's no fucking shot that didn't hit a chat. No shot, dude.
you're still moving. I can't tell. I want to turn around and make noise to check if we're distancing ourselves from them. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, we're good. We're good. I hated this mechanically, by the way. Easily worst part of the game. This would be a good time for Supernova music. Oh, it's coming. I, I don't know at what point it's safe to move again. I'm just going to wait till like, we're about to hit these. I think you can move now. Ain't taking no risks. Fine, we'll get there in five hours. Doing this part on keyboard is impossible. For what it's worth, it seems like what happens is if you line up your trajectory outside the like loading, because you can tell when you've loaded into the new part of the seed, the outer walls appear. It seems like it just snapshots your trajectory through the middle. It's probably how the game makes it easier for you to do that. At least that's what it seemed like. Well, every time we entered, slash when you shoot the scout, no matter where you shoot it, it goes right through the middle. Yeah, so like it, it basically snapshots the correct position for you. All right, we're here, chat. What is this? here. It's like the, the brain. It's the infinite shit. Of the struct? Is this Independence Day? float here. Oh. I don't realize how fast we're floating, right? I think we didn't float into a fish. I ironically don't like, like what are we supposed to do here? There's nothing to interact with or anything. I'll get out for a second I guess. I don't like this puzzle either. I mean, I like I would have found it, figured it out eventually. Just it seems so weird. Um, I mean, I did figure it out eventually. Obviously, you guys hinted along, but although I don't really understand what to do here now. I get out of the ship for a sec. See if there's like an interact or something. How did you find Feldspar? What do you mean, with my audio? Did everyone matched all the audio already and there was nothing? Like, 
we did these all when we came in. What if we just get them to eat their own eggs? Oh, wait, I've literally never realized that there's a change frequency to any of these. Because it's always just auto-tracked it. Stress beacon. I, I never would have seen that. I've never looked in the top right during this. Is it a stress beacon? Quantum fluctuations. Either I haven't tracked it or it's on the quantum channel. That's where I came in. I'll scan through all of, uh, all of them at a time. It's hard to orient though because you keep floating around. I'm enjoying the game. It's been very good so far. Really, really good. Very, very good, man. Absolute gem of a game. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. Unless I haven't found the right one yet. Which is possible. You have to do it from the first room? like a fish antenna. That seems to be the way out. We'll, we'll play the DLC probably. I don't think we're going to have time to get to it today and finish it tonight in the next like three to four hours. We haven't even finished the base game yet. Um, but we'll definitely do it in October because that should be like a one max two string thing. And apparently it's spookier, so. That's a foe. It's level spooky like Halloween or Little Nightmares. Yeah, I assumed it's not like it, like pure horror. Oh yeah, Little Nightmares is fucking spooky. Yo, did you guys see Little Nightmares 3 and it as a co-op? Bro, I am giga excited about that. I think they said 2024, right? stuck in here right now until the supernova. We're just going in circles, chat. I don't know how to get out of here now. Just 2024 and 2025. I thought the original, the original Death State would be their last. Is this a new studio? I don't know. I don't think so. Although I'm not 100% sure who the new, who the current for 3 and old studio was. 
So, maybe. All I know is there's a third one coming. And it's got co-op. I think we're just... Stuck in an infinite... Ah! No, daddy. I just hope they make the third one longer. That's my only desire. I don't know, man. Should we just get eaten? I feel like we unironically bricked something. I don't know. I'm just going to the same room over and over and over. Not so threatening anymore. I was hoping you would chomp down on the uh, vine and eat a seed like it happened for a feldspar. And then we'd have our own little home. Let's go back this time and scan from the beginning. Is there a deadline for finishing Outer Wilds non-DLC before another game? Uh, tomorrow we start early access. Um, uh, axolotl. 8K axolotl. For two days and then early access. Uh, for um, Lies of P. And then that'll probably snowball into... Cyberpunk. Now, if there happens to be a gap between that and Cyberpunk, let's go, right? But, but I definitely want to finish the base game, for sure, before tomorrow. Like, absolutely. I mean, I can't imagine we're too far, but it's hard to know with this game, because things just keep happening. Find hints on how to explore the place better. Uh, yeah, the hint was Brent dropping a hint. Uh, I like scanner, this game. Screen. Also, I just got the Dead Space remake console. Played original, but not the only one. Oh, you're in for a treat, man. Thank you for the 30, Luke. You, 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 ever, you didn't play the remake? The remake was really good. For, for me, the Dead Space remake was like one of the golden standards of how to properly remake games. Up there with Resident Evil 2. Really, really, really good. Arrobas sloot, okay. I can tell you how to unlock a mechanic that lets you restart a cyclat wheel, if you'd like. There's no story spoil involved. Would help speed the things up a bit. We'll give it to you, dude. Uh, I mean, sure. Uh, like, I, you just got here a bit earlier. Some people have already told me some. There's like three different ones, right? The start menu thing, take off your suit and go into space and die. And there's somebody to talk to or something. Distress beacon chat. Honestly, I, I haven't looked at frequency a single time in the game. Because the game... Well, I mean, I haven't needed to. I didn't even know it was a thing. Because the game 
seem to like auto switch between whatever frequency you needed whenever you scan things. And there's some things I probably just didn't scan because they were right in my face. I, I, it just, this would have taken me like two hours to think about and like start getting angry and looking all over the screen and then being like, ah, that thing. So grab a giant gabro, ask about meditation. Uh, didn't we ask him about that yesterday? Maybe not. After that, you just meditate to end the cycle whenever you want. Ah, I got you. Isn't that kind of the same thing as start menuing and coming back, though? Level one. Scratchy. What? Is there one hidden? Or is it in this area? We don't travel through another seed, I guess. to you from my hospital room. Add my gallbladder move the today. Wait, what? The fuck? Like emergency, the dune? Well, yep, you're probably the first person that's done a sub or resub that's in the hospital room because they got their gall gallbladder removed. You right, dude? That's all right as you can be. Right there. You need some whiskey? Sounds like a good idea right now. That's real dedication, chat. Something from the fucking emergency room bed. Our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee from this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. We held it as long as we could here, but the pod's supply of breathable air is nearly depleted, and anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance at survival is to return to the vessel, is to return to vessel, to the vessel to either repair damage or, more probably, await rescue. Mr. Cat, I see you. What's going on? Saka, is the message finished? The vessel's beacon is already growing fainter. It will be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here quickly. Escape uh, pod three vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Now launching escape pod three. Multiple collisions have altered pod's trajectory. Significant damage to pod detected. Navigation error, life support error, propulsion error. Scanning external environment, scan complete. Gravity not detected, breathable air not detected. Multiple life forms detected, potentially hostile. Do not exit pod, verdict. There's a new problem. Our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the vessel. But it isn't possible for the vessel to be in two different locations at the same time. I agree, but the beacons are exactly identical to each other. And perhaps if I had more time... Hey, Mr. Cat. Please invade the desk at your leisure. You're high as a kite? Hell yeah, bro. I hope you feel okay soon, dude. We're nearly out of time. Already, Din. The vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon it will be gone and we will be lost. We will follow the beacon whose source is nearest to us, but suppose that beacon is false. We we'll likely don't have enough air to reach the furthest of the two beacons, Din. The decision is made for us. We we'll leave a trail of lights as we go. There's still a chance someone could hear our escape pod's distress signal. We 
emergency escape hatch. Mr. Cat, we have to follow the lights. I hope I don't get blinded by the lights. I think we went to that egg area prematurely. And we're going to find a hint that tells us on how to do it. No, you yeah, know, we've already done it, but... Apparently all these bastards don't get us into an anglerfish. So many dead dudes. Why didn't they just leave, chat? For it. See anything to scan? That's the vessel. Must be the vessel. Now we go into the red area, I guess. Is there nothing to interact with here? Oh, there is. There is. I see it. We just floated past it. That's why. To any of you who came here searching for us, we followed one of the two beacons from the vessel to this place, but can go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within this thorny seed. Yeah, the opening is too small for even a single Nomai to fit through, so our escape pod couldn't have flown through here. I don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seems able to manipulate space itself. Maybe this is our undoing. To be so close to the location of the vessel and still as far as it is difficult. Worse, the vessel's beacon is dying. Soon we'll be able to hear, unable to hear it. There's nothing we can do now but try to perhaps find a way inside or at least attempt to comprehend why this happened. My dear self is that the other escape pods are able to reach relative safety. Do we have to head into that red one then? See what the ship says as well. Excuse me, sir. Can you move? Thank you. Do 
They're sleep dancing. Wake them up? I tried. I even tried to wake them up inside. Baron, what's up, dude? Okay. I'll leave that there.